Chris Bradley O'Connor joining us now to take a look at our forecast. And for the very first time since late June, we actually have measurable rainfall yeah, out there. We've actually picked up two hundredths of an <laughs> inch. We've actually beat July already. In fact, it's a cool uh, August 1st. That's for sure. Temperatures are around 59 right now, but let's take a look at your planner for today. I'm going to keep the clouds around. We are just not breaking out of them at all. In fact, I believe our temperatures are going to stay in the 60s for the afternoon because these clouds are so thick with periods of drizzle throughout the afternoon hours. So by 5 p.m., by that time you head home from work, still expect maybe some areas of drizzles. Temperatures right around 67 degrees, and then by 7 uh, p.m., around 66, and still looking at the chance of maybe an isolated shower through about 9 p.m., 65 degrees around in there. So as we look outside, yeah, this tells it all. 59 degrees. In fact, our temperatures have held really near steady since this morning. Winds are calm, but we have been seeing periods of drizzle. In fact, let's go ahead and look at our precipitation. So far, two hundredths of an inch has fallen at PDX, and our averages, or I should say our monthly normal, is just over six tenths. So, you know, we're inching towards that, but we've already beat July. Now, here's a live look in Beaverton right now. 61 degrees. You've been seeing plenty of clouds, and it is a dreary day, a dreary day out towards the coast. In fact, out towards Cannon Beach, you've picked up just around three hundredths of an inch temperatures right now, excuse me, four hundredths of an inch that just updated, and your temperature right now at 58 degrees. Metro temperatures right now, Wilsonville 63, even out towards Oregon City 62, still holding at 59 in Portland, and out towards uh, Hillsboro 61. What we're watching is that area low pressure still giving us lots of clouds around the valley. In fact, you can see how thick they are out towards the coast. But we're also seeing some thunderstorms in the central and eastern parts of uh, Oregon, out towards the Bend area, even up towards Madras and Pendleton. Notice the lightning strikes. And actually, in the last or recently, we've had 72 lightning strikes. So we are very much watching this area due to the fact that it's still very dry. And those red flag warnings are still up through about 11 o'clock this evening, all the way through Burns out towards the Bend area and down towards the southern parts of the state. So if you're headed out for th first Thursday tonight, expect temperatures right around 67 degrees. If you want to head out and uh, maybe take that light jacket and uh, watch for some patchy drizzles. Temperatures only make it to around 67 today in the metro area. And I think our western area is just about the same. 69 in Chualatin, also Lake Oswego right around 69 degrees. Looking at uh, patchy drizzle still around Clackamas and PDX around 68 with lows in the upper 50s. Up towards Salmon Creek and Scappoos still looking at chilly temperatures today really in the upper 60s for all of us. Along the coast around 62 for Seaside. Still looking at areas of drizzle around Eugene up towards Salem. Kelso just 67 for your high tonight with a low near 55. Looking at the mid to upper 70s out towards the central areas. Still looking at the chance of scattered storms, especially where we're seeing that sun. That's going to add to some of that instability that we're seeing. Government camp right around 61 degrees with lows of around 47. Your freezing level right at 11,000 feet. The coast forecast if you're planning to head out this week and look for scattered showers coming in for tomorrow as well. Some clouds decreasing in the afternoon, but we will be a little bit cooler right Right around 61 degrees out towards the gorge. So, looking at that isolated storm threat today. Morning clouds tomorrow and temperatures in the mid to upper 70s for both days. Out towards the Cascades, temperatures right around 63. Still looking at the chance of isolated showers tomorrow, at least to start the day. And then the central forecast scattered storms still possible today, but we turn mostly sunny for our Friday and slightly warmer. So, I'm going to inch us up to 74 for tomorrow. Looking for morning showers possible and then gradual decreasing clouds. A little bit warmer there for Saturday, but by the time we roll around to Sunday into next week, feeling more like August. In fact, we'll go above average.